Here we have a Commodore A600 power supply. It's the model number right there, 391029-01. Unlike earlier power supplies, this is a switch mode power supply, so it is certainly worth repairing rather than replacing the guts. Uh, this one was plugged into 220, and um, it obviously blew the fuse um, down there, but uh, replacing the fuse caused it to blow instantly again. Um, I measured between the two, the hot and the neutral, and it was about 40 ohms, so that's way too low. Um, and I discovered that the metal oxide varistor or MOV was uh, the culprit. <clears throat> it did its job. It's actually a protection for this sort of thing and it's got a nice crack in it and actually where it sat there's a little bit of a burn mark. Also I noticed on this one that I believe this capacitor is not working. It measures well in circuit. Uh, it's a 220 microfarad, 200 volt, um, but it, it certainly doesn't store any uh, current. Um, when I turn the thing off, uh, this thing is instantly zero volts. Um, and what's happening, uh, I mean, you can operate this without the MOV. <clears throat> you can operate this without the MOV, uh, you know, and it will work. It's a protection only. Um, the only thing is, is that the outputs are all over the place. There's uh, you know, there's a plus five, a minus five, and a 12, I think, or a minus 12. They're marked down there. And they're, they're all over the place. They, all three of them are moving around uh, quite a bit by more than a volt. So um, because all three of them are doing the same thing, uh, you know, you could trace them back to one common place, and that's the um, this side, you know, the, the uh, high voltage side of the um, power supply. And it's with the voltage going up and down like that it would seem that it would be a capacitor of some kind and this is the largest capacitor in the whole power supply and it doesn't seem to be storing anything so i've ordered replacement capacitors i've replaced some of them already i'll replace all of them um, as a matter of course but uh, we will see if that makes a difference Okay, next up I'm going to show you uh, how much voltage this thing is putting out and how it's bouncing all over the place. So I've got uh, the ground hooked up here and I'm going to measure this thing is on. I'm going to be real careful. And this is supposed to be a minus 12 and it's all over the place. Um, yeah, let's go to plus 12. Yeah, same thing, all over the place. And uh, plus five. Yeah, just jumping, jumping all over the place. Well, what I've discovered is that this thing needs a load in order to perform correctly. When plugged into the Amiga, this thing is rock solid. And I've heard of power supplies that are that way. I've never had experience repairing one that was like that, but this one is clearly that way. So I don't need to replace any of the other uh, components. Um, it, it's functioning correctly now. I've plugged it in and tested it. However, um, this is from 94 or whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace all the caps since I've already ordered them anyway, and then we'll test. But it's working now. And that, the only problem with it was the blown uh, MOV, metal oxide barrister, and uh, I've replaced it with an equivalent larger one, but physically, but it's an equivalent one. The only the closest thing I could find, because the stuff from 94 is hard. Anyway, uh, we'll uh, replace the components and give it another test. Now that I've recapped it, I am going to test some continuity. Uh, just make sure that I don't have any issues any shorts or partial shorts. So I have my um, ohmmeter set on a low setting. I don't have an automatic ranging ohmmeter, so I just have it on a low setting. I shouldn't detect any any low resistance between 
the mains input or on the output either. Should see some resistance on the output, but it shouldn't be very uh, shouldn't be very low. Okay, we got it hooked up, and the Amiga is running. Let's just test some voltages. This is plus five. Here. It's a little higher than it was. Let's go. Be careful. It's plus 12 or minus 12? Yeah, minus 12. Minus 12. And plus 12. Don't try this at home.